past, and there's often been uh, difficult uh, challenges like this. I, I'm confident we're going to win. There's no question in my mind. In the end, the drug war will be uh, will fall upon its own weight. Uh, I think we're lucky to have some uh, advantages in that. Uh, I think the biggest one is the truth is on our side, uh, and uh, you know we spent a lot of our time getting the facts out. If you look at our website, uh, www.csdp.org. Uh, what you'll see on the, on, on the website is a fact book. You'll see our advertising campaign. Very factually uh, heavy uh, material that really make it clear the facts are on our side. We have morality on our side. Putting somebody in jail for something they use is certainly not something Jesus would do. Uh, uh, allowing someone to get a disease like AIDS, and we know how to prevent it, would be something that's immoral. Uh, you know, we, we, it's, it's the current system that's funding the criminals. It's the current approach that's making the cartels and the street gangs wealthy. It's the current approach that's causing the violence in the streets. Uh, and so we have the morality on our side. And the, the other thing I think that's very helpful is, 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 is the information technology that's now available. I think uh, this kind of cable TV show, for example, wouldn't have been possible uh, five years ago. Uh, and then you have the whole web uh, and, and, and you know the potential for information distribution, for organizing people, for common uh, joint efforts focused on different, different uh, different uh, strategies for reformers to work together more cohesively. Uh, we have lots of advantages that the previous uh, social progressive efforts, uh, whether it's race, sex, whatever, yeah, but gender, but here's, didn't have. But here's what strikes me. I mean, I, you know, the, the wisdom and the enlightenment of, of, of what you and your associates bring to the table is, is to me, it's obvious. Right. But the fact is, the, the players, the legislators, the politicians, uh, and the people who are running this country, um, I can't name other than Gary Johnson in New Mexico and Barney Franks and a, who, uh, and, uh, a handful of others. And a handful of others. Uh, I can't name that many. Uh, yeah, but you can look at it that way, but you can also look at it as uh, in the last two election cycles, we've won. Uh, Seven states and the District of Columbia has voted for various aspects of reform, uh, and it's in not just medical marijuana; it's also treating marijuana, uh, treating all drugs as a health problem around the criminal justice problem. Arizona has voted twice to stop putting drug uh, drug possession cases in jail. Uh, in Oregon, the issue of whether or not marijuana should be a criminal offense uh, came up because the legislators, by two to one voted to make marijuana possession a criminal offense. It's been decriminalized since 1973. Last two years ago, the, the Republicans took control. It was a, a socially conservative wing of the Republican Party that took control. And uh, they voted to make marijuana possession criminal. And in Oregon, they have a referendum approach where the legislation can be challenged, and you get signatures, and it was challenged. And by two to one, the people voted, no, we're not going to make marijuana criminal. So I think there's signs that the people are waking up. People are ahead of the politicians. There'll be more initiatives uh, and votes this year on other issues that I'll show you more support. And you're starting to see politicians. As you mentioned, Gary Johnson, Jesse Ventura, the Black Caucus, the liberal wing of the progressive wing of the of Congress is starting to speak out. We even have a Republican running for the Senate, uh, the leading Republican running for the Senate in California, uh, Tom Campbell, who's currently a congressman. Uh, and he is, in his fundraising letters, during a primary, talking about legal heroin. At editorial board meetings during the Republican primaries, a very conservative Republican Party in California, he's talking about legal legal heroin because of a way to reduce crime. Pointing to the Swiss study I mentioned earlier, how it has cut crime by 50 percent. And so, for a politician to run against Diane Feinstein uh, on that issue is very important, and particularly a Republican who uh, is not he's pro, he's pro choice, he's pro gun control, so he's not going to have that fight with Diane Feinstein. It's a fight instead on the drug issue. Diane Feinstein is an extremist, drug war hawk. Tom Campbell is a realist, moderate on the drug issue, and has been right on needle exchange, been right on mandatory sentencing, right on medical marijuana, and he's also right on legal heroin. Um, Kevin, would, would you mind uh, just elucidating a little bit of, about uh, what's taken place with the issue of mar medical marijuana for the people back in Louisville who probably, many of whom have little awareness well, the medical marijuana issue has got a lot of attention recently, but the reality is this has been a 30-year struggle. Uh, I got involved uh, in the medical marijuana issue back in 1978 uh, when I was a law student, and it was one of the first cases I worked on at Normal, and I stayed involved in that case for uh, over 10 years. 
Uh, in the end, we got the chief administrative law judge of the DEA, the Drug Enforcement Administration, to rule in our favor. He ruled that, in fact, marijuana was a valuable medicine, that the federal government was wrong to block patient access to it. People are suffering. They need to have this medicine. Uh, and uh, uh, unfortunately, an administrative law judge's ruling is only a recommendation. And the final decision is made by the head of the agency, who is a political appointee, and of course, was the DEA, clearly a drug war hawk. So he ruled to keep marijuana illegal. But having the, the chief judge of the DEA, the guy who gets his paycheck from the DEA every week, uh, rule in our favor was a big step. And uh, it provided a, the, a foundation, I think, for us to build uh, this current uh, effort. And uh, polls show uh, over 65% support uh, for medical marijuana. The research clearly shows marijuana is a safe and effective medicine, uh, it, 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 particularly for cancer patients, AIDS patients, glaucoma, and muscle spasm related illnesses. Those are the three areas uh, appetite and nausea for cancer and AIDS, controlling eye pressure for glaucoma, and controlling muscle spasms for people with MS for multiple sclerosis, for example. That's one of the illnesses. Uh, and the evidence is very strong on this. There's, there's literally over 100 studies showing marijuana is safe and effective for those medicines. So the research is in, political support, po popular support is there. Uh, we've won uh, seven elections on this issue uh, in the last two years, all by about 60% support, not even close votes. Uh, and, and so I think that, that that's an issue we're winning on. Of course, the federal government continues to resist. The federal government continues to fight that, and I think it shows their overzealousness. It shows that they are the extremists that they are willing to let pe people suffer because of their fear of marijuana. Uh, if they were just to allow medical marijuana, I don't think it would make any difference in the debate on the overall uh, drug issue, because the medicine is different from non-medical use. Uh, but because they keep fighting it, it does make a difference in the overall drug debate, because it shows how heartless these people are, how overzealous they are, and how insecure they are. They realize that their drug war is a mile long, but an inch deep and that support for their drug war can weaken quickly. And so they fear letting that little trickle through the dike because they fear that that will become an explosion and the dike will disappear. Uh, I think there, you know, there, there probably is some legitimacy in that fear. And I think that's why I keep fighting. They're not fighting it because it is, they, they, they know it works. The evidence is in. Uh, the doctors have spoken. The patients have spoken. They know it works. They fight it because of political insecurity. And that insecurity is, is why I'm so confident we're going to win in the end, because they know they're losing. Yeah, I'm, 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 I regret that I've become as cynical as I have personally uh, about these matters. I can remember way back when you were first starting uh, during the Carter administration uh, that it seemed like there was uh, a real gain in, <clears throat> in common sense. Uh, about these issues, and then, and then in the meantime, everything has gone the exact opposite. And uh, one thing that's striking, again, is is the uh, the movement, if you will, that you're a part of, is just uh, marginally or minimally funded. Uh, the normal and other organizations, it seems like they're scratching from day to day to, to get by just to keep the organization going. The organizations on the other side, the Partnership for a Drug-Free America, uh, and so forth, they have so many billions of dollars and, and that they just don't know what to do with yeah, it. Yeah, but that, that's, that's it, always, it's, it's like again, a, that's not unusual. It's like an ant up against uh, a... It's not uh, unusual. Again, you look at the civil rights tank. movement. Look at the civil rights movement. You know, Martin Luther King didn't have a lot of money either. NAACP didn't have a lot of money either. Uh, yeah, the, the, and they won. They were up against a strong bureaucracy, well-funded opposition. They were up against governments, and they still won. Uh, segregation ended, civil rights laws were enacted, and there was obviously more progress needed, but progress is being made. And I, I, I'm, I'm very confident that we're going to win this. Uh, and it's good to be the hungry side that wants a victory, as opposed to the side that has the victory and is overfunded, because we're, we're working harder. Uh, we're making uh, people or people are putting their heart and soul into this effort, and uh, I'm confident, completely confident, that we're going to win this in the end. But let me ask. Let me let me ask you this this theoretical question: Is uh, if if indeed some much of the information that <clears throat> is being shoved down the American people's throat, so to speak, uh, 
on the dangers and paranoia of uh,